Hello, and welcome to this edition of the CSIAC podcast series. This episode will present an overview of the topic of Advanced Persistent Threats, also known as APTs. Advanced Persistent Threats, or APTs, are the concerted malicious efforts of exploitation which are often the work of well-resourced, sophisticated nation-state attackers. APTs represent a growing and dangerous facet of today's cybersecurity threat framework. Today's cybersecurity threat landscape encompasses a wide array of attackers. Operating much like a for-profit enterprise, the organized crime threat model is comprised of cyber criminals focused on stealing financial or personally identifiable information, PII, for resale on the dark web. Many of these cyber criminals adopt standard business best practices, such as providing tailored hacking solutions and de developing exploits. These organizations invest significant resources into technology and automation research in order to increase future profit returns. The next category of threat actor is hacktivists. This is a mashup of the terms hacker and activist. Hacktivists are motivated primarily by their ideological beliefs, targeting organizations and political groups who stand in opposition to their ideological goals. These individuals or groups are often highly motivated in carrying out their objectives. Attacks conducted by hacktivists can often be observed adhering to a particular pattern, leveraging specific tools and techniques. Another type of threat profile is known as the script kitties. This is a group of aspiring hackers that often lack the skills required to develop their own malicious exploits. However, Several resources, tools, and exploit frameworks exist for these individuals to leverage, which can make them as dangerous to organizations as more sophisticated malicious attackers. Script kiddies are often motivated by competition with their peers and the desire to gain fame and notoriety. They often engage in attacks of website defacement or distributed denial of service type attacks. APTs involve sophisticated levels of expertise and significant resources. They employ multiple attack vectors to achieve their objectives. They try to establish a lasting presence within an organization's information technology infrastructure. From there, they attempt to exfiltrate information or interfere with the critical aspects of the organization's mission. APTs focus on highly specific targets with clear objectives. This usually involves the acquisition of high-value digital assets like national security data or business information such as intellectual property or trade secrets. Targets of APTs often include political organizations, defense firms, national critical infrastructures, as well as private industry. APTs employ sophisticated stealth and evasion techniques, often referred to as the slow and low approach. Threat campaigns can run for an extended period of time. There are several characteristics that differentiate APTs from other, more traditional cyber attacks. Fundamental elements of an APT include the customization of tools and intrusion techniques. APTs leverage these advanced tools and enumerated organizational information in a fashion to evade detection. In contrast to the smash and grab approach exercised by other attackers, APTs utilize a systematic approach to ensure and avoid detection. The specificity of an APT's target is another defining characteristic. An APT has a well-defined target and it will continually persist 
in its attempts to achieve its prime objective. Typically, the life cycle of an advanced persistent attack consists of six distinct phases. The first of these is reconnaissance and weaponization. A number of both passive and active reconnaissance techniques are deployed during this stage in order to gain an overall understanding of all aspects of the target. Much of this information can be gathered in a passive manner by using open source intelligence tools. Social engineering is often used to obtain additional information as well as to access and identify other potential points of entry. Custom exploits and payloads may then be developed to leverage the most vulnerable systems and services. The next stage involves the delivery of exploit packages. This primarily utilizes indirect techniques to effectively and discreetly gain an initial foothold on the targeted organization's infrastructure. The human element is the most vulnerable aspect of an organization's security, so attackers will target personnel to deploy extremely effective spear phishing and watering hole attacks. Watering hole attacks increase the available surface area of attack by targeting third-party organizations that key organization personnel visit regularly. These sites can often deliver zero-day exploits. Once the exploit's payload has been delivered, malicious code is executed. This initial access establishes a persistent listener within the organization's infrastructure. This phase provides the targeted organization with its first opportunity to detect an APT attack as both network traffic and file evidence is generated by this initial intrusion. Command and control techniques establish lower level control over an organization's systems. Various services can be employed by an APT to maintain communication and control over the compromised machines. Command and control instructions are often embedded in social media status messages and published within blog posts to evade detection by network traffic monitoring tools. Once an APT is firmly established within an organization's infrastructure, malicious actors attempt to increase their dominion over the organization's network by expanding their access identifying key high-value digital data, and harvesting user credentials. Months are dedicated to the patient and silent acquisition of digital data. Great efforts are made to observe and conform to a standard model of a user's typical behavior in order to avoid detection at all costs. The most critical element of the APT campaign lifecycle is the exfiltration of the consolidated high-value digital data. APTs utilize a variety of novel techniques to conceal the transfer of sensitive data from the target organization's network. It is often compressed and encrypted. ATPs may use unconventional methods and secure transfer protocols in an attempt to obscure or conceal the transmission of this data back to externally controlled locations. Traditional countermeasures have been relatively ineffective in preventing APT attacks. A combination of traditional countermeasures combined with advanced data analytics, security awareness training, and intelligence-driven defenses is the most effective means of defending and protecting an organization against an APT. Regular log auditing remains an integral component of securing any organization's architectural environment. 
Although APTs go to great lengths to destroy or mask evidence of their movement and actions on a compromised network, there are several red flags that could indicate the presence of an intrusion. During the reconnaissance process, an actor identified performing a port scan against an organization's external facing services should be recorded and placed on a watch list. In this way, malicious actors can then be more easily identified and investigated if observed again in the future. In addition, behavioral analytics should also be employed. This is done to establish a normal baseline in order to detect and identify any anomalous activity in the future. Network segmentation isolates separate organizational subnets by role and sensitivity, each with distinguished levels of authorization. By placing an organization's most sensitive data assets on a separate internal network, a single point of access can be deployed, such as a software-defined perimeter, limiting network access to only authorized users. This method could significantly decrease the attacker's ability to move laterally throughout a network following its initial compromise. It's reported that 70% of APT attacks are initiated by spear phishing techniques typically delivered via malicious emails. Therefore, security awareness training is crucial. Regular proactive security awareness training designed to help personnel more reliably detect and report phishing attacks should be employed and include multiple attack vectors including email, SMS, and voicemail. Phishing simulation services can also be used to identify personnel still vulnerable to phishing campaigns who may require additional training. APTs will continue to remain a serious, growing security concern for many organizations in the future. Significant research is examining the current threat actors that make up the modern APT framework, determining the common methods and techniques employed, and developing effective defensive countermeasures. With advances in deep learning technology, Machine learning models will be developed to more quickly and accurately identify the unique components that comprise an APT, providing a substantially more effective defensive platform in the future. On behalf of the CSIAC, we would like to thank you for viewing this podcast. We hope you found the content informative and useful. If you would like to provide feedback or comments, please visit our website at www.csiac.org where you can also find additional content to review. Thank you. Did you know that CSIAC offers free monthly webinars featuring experts in the areas of cybersecurity, software engineering, modeling and simulation, and knowledge management? Come see leading industry professionals talk about industry practices and leading research. Make sure to visit www.csiac.org forward slash webinars in order to subscribe to our mailing list and see when the next webinar series is available. There you can also watch previous webinar series to catch up. Visit www.csiac.org forward slash webinars.